seventh round pick. I love Clay Johnston, Seymour. Uh, 18 bench press reps, 6'1", 227. He's on right about that 230 number. But the big key for me is that bottom line, right? Missed so much time during those last three seasons because of injury. How do you think that impacted where he ended up getting drafted? I think it definitely had something to do with why he slid to the seventh round. Because at that point, you know you're taking a gamble and a chance on a young man that's shown he's had a history uh, of not being on the field. And coaches get a little bit leery when guys are unavailable, especially due to injury. So it's certainly something that they earmarked. Yeah, it, what's the saying? You can't make the club in the tub. And <laughs> I look at that, and and but when we, we talked about it with Jordan Brooks, look at Clay Johnson here in the middle of that field. Look at the instincts and the ability to get downhill and make a play. He's an interesting player to me because unlike Jordan Brooks, I don't see the same type of gas or speed on the field. But what you do see is the eye and eye, the instincts and intelligence. And this guy can just kind of feel out the run creases. He has a nose for the ball, and then he knows how to trigger and go make the play. And so I think this is a guy that's a little bit more of an overachiever, a little bit less athletic, but still can be a game wrecker like what we see here. Yeah, I love that. This is a blitz, part of their blitz, that Baylor blitz package. And you see him loop around. I love that little shoulder dip to get underneath the offensive tackle. And he knows I got to get to the deepest hip of the deepest back. And that happens to be the quarterback for this sack. And it's interesting because, you know, his, his dad's a longtime NFL strength coach. And so, you know, the guy has some power. He runs right here. Great job of dipping his shoulder to get to the quarterback on the blitz. But also, you know, he, he doesn't have the most physicality, but he is a very sound tackler. And probably mm -hmm. the best part of his game is he he's a he's a stalwart as a run defender. And so I think that's the big attraction there for the Rams because they like to re, they like to scout guys based on body type and disposition. And he certainly fits their scheme with that. Yeah, and I think he does have a little bit of move. And I think this is pretty interesting to see the way that he's able to he he. It's not just that he has the ability to move. I love that he recognizes the way that he fits into the defense. And so here yeah. he knows somebody else has contain. I'm filling up so I don't have to slow down. I can run full speed because the corner's not going to be there for this guy. He can run full speed, but also watch, Michael, how he sort of re he changes his course. Watch how he changes and shifts his course, his pursuit angle to the ball. It tells me that it's a guy that's thinking on his feet. And he's also playing for that cutback because he knows that the running back can stop on a dime and cross his face. And so he's playing this inside out. Exactly right. And so that's Behind a great play. But, yep, and, and, and he's such a heady player. And I think that's what comes with being a coach's son. Yeah, no, I think you're spot on. And this is my favorite play. And I, I, this is – this the next play is my favorite play where we get to – and this is the thing where I think he has the athleticism to be a contributor at the next level. He just has to kind of kind of pull it all out. And this is one where we get action to his left. He sees the action to the left, and then he redirects to the action to the right on the reverse. And I think this is really cool to watch it in that reverse view. He moves down, comes down, moves that way, and then he's able to make this tackle. I think this is, to me, this is probably his best play. No doubt it's his best play. And just the identifier, being able to see – work through some of the chaos and see that this is a reverse going back into the boundary, but then also go shoot your bullets. When you, when you get there, go make a play. Don't hesitate. Don't turn it down. Wait for somebody else to make it. You go make it. And so I like what he did there. He knifes in there to make this. That's, that's an outstanding play. And again, I just think it shows some of his instincts. It shows that he's spatially aware, but he's also just a smart, heady football player. And these are the type plays, despite missing a lot of time, He's shown enough of these type plays to get his name called on draft day. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a Clay Johnson fan. Um, obviously, him playing in that Baylor defense with with Lynch up front uh, kind of helped him out a little bit. But I, I think the big key for me is watching the way that he plays 